Hey folks, uh, viewer Data Vita asked a question. Um, he has a simple, they have a simple task. Just want to send audio from GarageBand, which has been enhanced with effects to OBS, sometimes out to Zoom or Facebook Live. What steps do I need to take? I would imagine that in GarageBand, my output would be set to loopback and in OBS, my input would be loopback. Is that correct? And if so, how do I do that? So I'm going to try and quickly cover this. Won't necessarily cover the Zoom part because it basically means you're using a virtual camera from OBS out to that or Facebook Live, which is maybe a OBS tutorial, I guess, on its own. Uh, but just in terms of getting the audio to OBS, let's deal with that. So GarageBand by default, uh, if you want to just add some effects, you can do that to a track. Um, and you can need to turn on monitoring if you want to hear it actually in your headphones as well for this little trick, I guess we're going to need to hear it in the headphone or in monitoring as well. So we don't actually want to, if we don't actually want to use GarageBand to record with, we're just using it to uh, add effects to the audio, which I think you could also do this inside of OBS if you wanted to, but for whatever reason, let's just assume you have to use GarageBand. So I can do this vocal transformer effect and things like that um, and hear it in this weird voice just so that it's very obvious. I mean, I guess I could just do like echo or that's sometimes hard to tell when you're um, doing this kind of stuff, what's actually going on. So I'm going to turn off monitoring for now, but uh, so let's go to, into loopback. We're going to just going to create a new virtual device. We're going to call it garage band mic effects. We'll leave it at that. Now I'm going to go back to GarageBand. It's prompting me, do you want to use the audio device loopback audio? I'm going to say don't use just because it's, and don't use, it's named weird. So I'm just going to make sure we get the right one. So I'm going to go preferences, output. Uh, I want it to be GarageBand mic effects. It's going to change the input as well right away, but obviously I need to change that back to my, in my case, Scarlett 18i8 is the USB mic that I'm using or the preamp that I'm using. So now I should still be able to hear it. Actually, no, now I won't be able to hear it because it's not going about out to my headphones. It's going to loop back. So going over to loop back now, if I turn on monitoring, you can see it's got audio levels coming in and then sending them back out. If I want to be able to hear it in my headphones, um, I need to add a monitor here in loop back so I can hear it. Or there's a couple of ways you can do this, but one, one way of doing this is in loop back. So in my case, I can add my Scarlett USB device back in. So now I, I'm hearing it again. I'm going to put on this vocal transformer. So it's very obvious what's going on on. And uh, so that gives me, I'm just going to turn it off for a second because it's kind of confusing, but it gives me the monitor, the ability to hear it as it comes through in my headphones. I could send it out to speakers if I had them or other audio devices if I wanted to in loopback. Now inside of OBS, uh, I've just got an empty scene uh, with no sources here, but we'll just add a new source and you can probably guess where this is going, but uh, sweet audio mic, I will say. And the device here is, as you guessed, is going to be that GarageBand mic effects. And so you can see that it's getting audio from that. If um, you know, I've got the vocal transformer going, I'm not hearing it differently right now in my headphones. But if I wanted to go to advanced properties in OBS here, I can turn on the monitor, monitor and output, output. And, then and then I do, I do hear, hear it. it. And, and I can, can make adjustments, adjustments to, to it, it if you wanted to. to turn up and down, down here, here etc. Et so from there, then you're just using, again, like going out to Facebook Live or YouTube or into Zoom, let's say as a virtual camera um, in, in various ways, whatever, wherever you want to take the audio from there. But that's basically how you would do that. The nice thing once you've got that set up is as a, an effect is you can use this inside of, of course, other uh, devices inside of loopback. So if you wanted to then also uh, bring in use that inside of say your music and just pipe, pipe that all into zoom if you're on a zoom call uh, but it sounds like you're probably you doing some of that inside of obs you want to manage obs or manage your whole audio video presentation in obs and then send that out to zoom or send that out to facebook live or whatever so in which case then you would probably want to just add another you could add a secondary source of like your iTunes or whatever your music backdrop that you want to play or, or things like that inside of OBS. But that's a conversation for uh, another tutorial about OBS. But the uh, loopback, the, for, for being a, a whatever it is these days, $90, I forget what it is, uh, US 
app. Um, sometimes the simplest thing is just a simple pass through, which you would think Mac OS would make it a lot easier to do, but it doesn't. And that's where Loopback is super handy at doing that for you, allowing you to do that. So hope that answers your question. If there's something else that I missed in the question there, uh, feel free to throw that in the comments below. If you've got a question like Data Vita does, uh, feel free to ask it in the comments below. You can also check out, I've got, uh, just for anybody who's watching this long, I'm in the process of setting up, I've set up a Discord. I'd like to build a bit of a community around this YouTube channel in terms of helping each other out with some of these kind of questions. That I love making videos, but obviously if there's some, sometimes where it's other folks can also help you who have maybe answered that same question already or dealt with the same issue. Uh, I'm in the process, I've got that Discord set up, so you can check the link in the comments below or I'll put it on the screen here right now. We'll try this out, see how it goes. Hopefully everybody plays nice with each other um, and uh, we can, yeah, help each other out with some of the Mac audio nerdy stuff that we're trying to do, whether it's live streaming or recording podcasts or just putting on some audio for your family or maybe a theater presentation or whatever, a radio show, all that kind of stuff that is super powerful and possible with a Mac, but sometimes doesn't always work as super powerful, easy, awesome as it should. So join us in the Discord. I'd love to see you there and, and we can chat further and figure it out as we go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.